Alrighty folks, welcome once again to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about this. Gyroscopic precession. I always say how much I made on YouTube so far, so this is my second video. Zero dollars. So we're doing good. Now these are force arrows. Um, it's the force that's on the tire, and this makes sense when the tire stopped, right? So I have it like this. The force up here is the biggest. Here it's a little bit smaller. Here it's pushing the other way, and here it's big pushing the other way. Makes sense as the tire flips down. Looks like the forces are pushing that way. Now once again, a force does not imply that something is moving in that direction. So imagine you have a car and it's it's rolling, right? And you, you push in the opposite direction. And the car doesn't stop. It's not moving in the direction of your force. It's still rolling. It has momentum or inertia, okay? And eventually, if you push long enough, you'll stop the car and then you keep pushing and you'll get the car to go the other way. That's what happens with this tire. Let's remember this and we'll look at an individual part of the tire. As you can see, I taped off part of the tire and this is the only part that we're gonna be thinking about. And we're gonna start it up top, just like this, okay? What forces are on just this part of the tire? Well, they're pushing this way, right? That is accelerating it, but not, it has zero velocity. It's accelerating and it accelerates it here too. There's still a force pushing this way on it, right? So it's, it's speeding up in this direction. It's accelerating, okay? And when it gets right here, right here, horizontally, there's no force on it anymore. But because from here to here, there was a force pushing this way, it has accelerated in that direction. It has a velocity now. It's not accelerating anymore when it's right here, okay, because there's no force. As soon as it passes through here, the forces are pushing the other way. It now has a force this way, but just like the car that's rolling and you push you know, the car the other way to try to stop it, you don't stop it moving instantly with a force, okay? So the force is this way, but it still has momentum this way. And that continues on, okay? Until it's at the bottom. Now, all this acceleration from here to here is canceled out from here to here. This now has zero velocity. Now the tire continues to rotate. Now that it's come to a complete stop, it begins accelerating in this direction because once again, remember the arrows, force is pushing it this way. Okay, when I let go. So it's accelerating from here to right here. Right here, there is no force on it e either way. Now acceleration leads to velocity. So here is where it has the highest velocity. Now it was accelerated from a dead stop here to here in this direction, right? This direction. So which way should it be going when it's right here? Well, it should be going this way. It should be going this way. The tire comes up and up and up. Once again, this 90 degrees cancels out this 90 degrees. From here to here, that bit of acceleration can cancels out with this acceleration here. But where is the velocity at its highest? The velocity is at its highest when it finishes pushing in a certain direction. Now let's try it, okay? When the tire gets here, it should be have momentum this way, right? Because it got accelerated from the bottom to the top. So the tire on this side wants to turn this way. And the tire on this side, when it gets over here, it gets accelerated from here to here. Well, it gets accelerated, remember, it gets accelerated the whole way, but it actually has zero velocity here, okay? It has velocity here in this direction. So the tire on this side wants to move this way. Okay, they, they work together, they both sides when the, it gets over here, it wants to go this way. And when it gets over here, it wants to go this way. All right, so let's try it. We spin it, and I let go. And sure enough, it spins in this direction, just as we predicted with the forces. Now, obviously, nothing's perfect. There's friction in all the bearings and stuff, and it doesn't last forever. But that's actually what happens. Now, sure, scientists 
we'll quantify it using like the right hand rule and angular momentum sticks out from the axis in the right hand rule blah 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 stuff like that okay but they use that to do the math on it I don't know if you've ridden before but you know that once you get up to speed um, bikes and motorcycles tend to be pretty stable I'm sure many of you have seen uh, like YouTube videos or something of a bike crash or whatever somebody fall off a bike and uh, the bike gets up and continues to ride on or whatever there's nobody on it okay bikes are stable because of gyroscopic precession wind comes from this side whoo, blows on the bike okay it pushes the bike in that direction that pushes this tire which has gyroscopic precession in this direction the actual movement of the tire happens 90 degrees later so it happens here okay here on the bike that causes the steering to turn to the right to compensate for it now obviously if a gust of wind comes like this or whatever it, the bike will move to the right but it won't fall over it'll stay um, up it doesn't keep the bike straight it keeps the bike balanced and that's the idea also another interesting thing when you ride a motorcycle or a bike at, at a decent speed um, you actually turn the wrong way okay now bear with me here when you make a turn on a motorcycle or a bike at a decent speed it's all about leaning it's not about um, actually turning the the handlebars let's say I'm riding this bike along and I make a turn to the right I push the handlebars to the right I don't make a turn to the right I push the handlebars to the right so I push out on this side okay that puts a force in this direction on the front of the tire and on this direction in the back of the tire now remember a force does not mean movement okay the movement happens 90 degrees later since the bike is going forward and the wheel is turning this way this force actually happens here or this not this force this movement actually happens here at the top and that causes the bike to lean to the left okay so I push the handlebars to the right the bike leans to the left I make a left turn okay you don't believe me try it get on the bike get up to a decent speed take your hands off the handlebars okay now take your finger just one finger and push on the right handlebar okay so I'm doing the opposite of what I showed earlier push on the right handlebar okay if you push on the right handlebar you should be making a left right but if you only push on if you notice you will end up making a right okay you've probably never noticed this because you when you learned how to ride a bike you just learn that that's the way it was your brain is wired to do it you don't even notice that you do it but you actually turn the wrong way be safe thanks for watching have a good one